light, isn't it, man? I'll tell you what. Coca-Cola Wakefield, this is fantastic. I just love building sites. I do, yeah. You feel like there's something something magical being created. I know that I know that the the owners at Coca-Cola here, the bowling plant, bowling plant in Wakefield, are, are very excited about this new development they have in place. Yeah, it's it's a new state-of-the-art system. This. Do you know how much it's costing? No, I don't have a clue actually. Thirty million. Thirty, 30 million. What, what exactly? What exactly is the development? It's a brand new state-of-the-art um, bottling system. It's going to save an absolute fortune in labour costs. Um, I mean, I, I was doing an investment appraisal on this earlier on, and. Um, I reckon. Well, should we work out how many years? Yeah, how many okay. years well, actually, I've got a mini whiteboard I just brought along with me because it always come in handy when you want to do a few calculations. So, you're telling me that the initial investment is going to cost 30 million. 30 million pounds is okay. the investment. And somebody told me the other day it could take, um, it would save 3 million a year. Okay. 3 million pounds a year. 3 million saving, savings each year. So savings on labour, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining, and just the right. speed in which they can actually get their bottles packaged in and out again. That's true. So one of the first methods of investment appraisal that we, we do in class is payback. Okay, yeah. So how long do you think that would take to, to pay back the initial investment? Okay, so I'm thinking here, for, uh, that 30 million, 3 million pounds a day, about 10 years, I'm guessing. 10 years payback. 10 years yeah. payback. But that's not the only method we use for investment appraisal there are other systems we can use no, just just to confirm 10 years payback that means that once in 10 years are up any any savings or any returns that they have after that are that's real real profit I that's guess. right once once it's paid back you're straight into profit so you know it, this this is going to last for years and years it's a fantastic development and yes, long -term investment. are really pleased with it that's right fantastic you're saying there's another type of investment appraisal you can use yeah another method we've been doing in class recently is the arr method the average rate of return now all that does is it looks at the rate of return you're getting per annum on the investment so cost per year, isn't per it? year um, on the investment cost as a percentage. Okay. So percentage. you can just show the formula maybe okay. on the back of this. Or, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so we're looking at the savings then. So three million per annum saving on yeah. an investment of thirty million pounds. So over the initial over the initial investment of thirty yeah. million. And if you times that by hundred to get a percentage by hundred, that's your annual return. And that's your ARR. Okay. So what percentage does that give you? Well, that's one over ten by a hundred, giving you a ten percent ARR. Ten percent return. That's much higher than bank interest rates. Bank interest accounts these days are paying one to two percent. So that's a fantastic return. So that would say so to you that that's really justifying their reason. That's right. For actually uh, in, in investing in this in this project. So it's a great investment and you know it's so nice to see it taking place at last. Would you say you've got any, is there any weaknesses with this approach? It seems a very simplistic way of calculating whether an investment should happen or not. Any any drawbacks to their methods? The only issue with the payback and the ARR method, um, it doesn't look at the time value of money, but we'll talk about that later on you know, yeah, when we absolutely. get back in the classroom. I'm here. just enjoying being down here. You know, I feel a bit guilty watching all this taking place and look at them all working. I might see all these pallets down here. I'm pretty sure I could drive one of them JCBs and move them over there. Well, I was going to say to you, if you can get in that digger and just move some of those pallets, that, that guy over there will be really pleased. Right, so. I better go on and do that. Okay. Speak to you in a bit.